Hi, I'm Tim. Please join me in this video as I show you a pretty easy way to use these um, pushrod servo connectors and how you can set them up for your RC model airplane. Let's get to it. When we build our RC model airplanes, there has to be some way to connect the servo arms to the control surfaces. There's a bunch of different ways. In this one, I'm going to show you a pretty common um, way to put a pushrod uh, connector on there. The pushrod connectors are quite common. I buy mine on Amazon. There's a range of different sizes. They come in packets. I think it's good just to have some uh, in your supply thing. To show you what I'm talking about, let's go ahead and take this airplane. And we'll take off. This is the, um, again, where we put the battery. If you look under here, these are the servos inside here, the servo control arms. What I'll tell you is how to set up these connectors right here. How to, and it's kind of tricky because of the, of the um, underside of them with the adjustment screws. Again, these rods go straight through. There's little guides here to keep them from flexing. And then what they do is they come out towards the back end. It's just a very simple Z-bend on the wire. I'll show you how to make that in a control horn. The big advantage of these um, setup is by this screw, by turning it in, it's a friction fit to hold the control rod in place. If you back off of the screw, it's super easy to adjust the control fore and aft to get the um, elevators, rudders, ailerons in trim, then just tighten down the screw. And it's just a super easy way to do that. The one thing to remember, every time before you fly it with your pre-flight, make triple certain that those screws are fully, fully screwed down and they're not loose, otherwise the controls won't work. So let's take a close-up look at what I'm talking about with a pushrod um, connector. So here is a small servo, the control arm, and the connector of the Z-Bend. Let me show you real quickly just an easy way to do a Z-Bend. What I do is take the wire and you just make a 90-degree bend like that. Make it a little bit more. Then we put the pliers like this, bend down another 90 degrees, and then we simply twist it. And that way you have a pretty, with a little bit of practice, you can make a pretty a good Z-bend like that. And this is a very good way to connect it with your um, control arms. That's not going to go anywhere. Okay. Now, when you pick out your wire for the control rod, you want to make certain that it is fit inside the hole inside here. These are some packets of what you get with these control horns. You see they come with the silver with a hole in it that is the, the push rod connects into, the little um, extension that goes through the servo arm. And what I'll show you is an easy way to put on that rounded surface and keep everything in place. So again, here is the insertion for the wire, the bottom, the screw that goes on top, and the control arm. Now, what will happen is with the control arm, Typically, the holes are not big enough for these because they are designed to take music wire with minimal slop. What you do is really pretty easy. You simply either take a drill or I use an X-Acto knife. You put it in here and you just turn it around on this side and the other side and you'll eventually make the hole a little bit bigger such that this fits into the control arm like that. Now, common student error, very important. This is the correct way because it goes on top of the servo. Be careful. It's very easy to install it on the bottom, which is what you don't want. You want it on the top. Like this. So now we have to put the screw on the top. It can be a little bit tough to do with these small screws. I use a pair of pliers, hold it in place, and then this simply screws into the top. So once that's started, everything's fine. And of course, your wire will eventually go through that hole and the screw will, will put down on top of it. Now, I'm going to show you how to install this onto the bottom of the control horn with this. You can see that the bottom is a curved surface. It makes it kind of tricky. But using tape and pliers, I'll show you a fairly, a quite easy way to do that. So what I do is I just take ordinary masking tape and I make a little loop but it's all the sticky side on the outside. Now, I take a pair of pliers. You want a fairly wide area there. I put the tape down here like that so it's sticking in place. Then, I put this little 
washer, retainer washer on there. Then I put this inside the hole. Now you can see everything's in place. And what we're going to do, we're going to simply clamp down with the pliers and that gets it started. You can only go to the bottom there. What the easiest thing to do is to take this on either side, just press down from the top on a hard surface and you'll get the thing to go through the entire washer and everything is just fine. And there's a finished installation right there. 